So those of you taking a cruise out of the port of LA may be thinking about booking an all-inclusive pre-cruise hotel package at one of the San Pedro hotels. Well, that's exactly what we did when we booked the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is just down the road from the main LA cruise ship pier, which, in addition to the room itself, included parking for the duration of our Cabo San Lucas cruise, shuttle transportation to and from the terminal, as well as a breakfast buffet for two the morning of the cruise. So let's start off by taking a look at the hotel room. We were in room 419 in a standard king bed layout, which was their basic room included as part of the cruise package. No upgrades here, just the standard room. Upon entering the room, there's a closet with a few miscellaneous coat hangers, ironing board, and a luggage rack off to the right. Next to the closet is the bathroom, which includes a tub shower with attached toiletries to prevent customers from running off with their own sample souvenir and a standard shower head. And of course the body hugging shower curtain that you're sure to become familiar with during your stay. And our standard countertop with lighted vanity mirror make up the rest of the bathroom. As we continue to the main living room, we have a decently comfortable bed with two lighted nightstands and no real centralized light source. So you'll need to make do with a few of these side lights to brighten up the place a little. Inside the primary storage cabinet, you'll find a Keurig coffee maker along with those way overpriced pods and a couple of drawers for some extra storage. A small mini fridge is just on the opposite side and those looking for a microwave will unfortunately be out of luck because the room does not have one. And next to the shabby looking office chair is a matching table that might be okay for doing work remotely. We weren't really here for that so can't really speak to it. Next to the bed we have a lounge chair and the nightstands do have a bit of personal storage on each side of the bed in addition to an alarm clock that we also didn't use. And that brings us to the lovely view we had of the building next door. Let's not kid ourselves here, there really isn't much to look at here, and the area itself doesn't have much going on other than being close to the pier that your cruise will depart from. So what are our overall impressions of the room, you might ask? If I was to think of a way to describe the room, I think I would go with perfectly acceptable. Well, there's nothing special here, it gets the job done as a pre-cruise hotel. Which is kind of a shame in a way because I think with a few renovations here and there, this place could be very good. There just isn't a lot of attention to detail here. For instance, this office chair has seen better days. And this lounge chair probably has as well. But I get it, it's a cruise hotel, so ultimately what do you really need it to be? Other than a place to sleep at night that's close to your cruise ship in the morning. If that's all you're looking for, you should be reasonably happy with this room. But what about the rest of the hotel cruise package? Does it add to the overall experience? Well, let's take a look at that and start with the morning breakfast buffet and see what's on offer. This is the main entrance to the hotel restaurant just off the main lobby area, which had a pretty nice look to it, I thought. Let's pick up a plate and go through the buffet line. And as we make our way through, we'll see there's a decent amount on offer here, starting with a selection of fruit and some yogurt next to that. Moving past this random guy, we'll find some cold cuts and a few pastries before making our way over to the hot cereal area, where we've got some oatmeal on offer, along with some sugary additives and a few lonely cold cereal boxes above that. And then moving over to the right, we'll find some biscuits and gravy, which we did not personally try, so we can't comment too much on that. That brings us to the main section of the buffet, starting off with some scrambled eggs. A little picked over by this point, but I assure you they were decent nonetheless. Next we have some breakfast potatoes, along with some sautéed mushrooms. 
That brings us over to the pancakes and sausage patties. As well as sausage links and bacon. And a few bagels at the end and a place to toast them. And then we have the make your own waffle mix along with waffle makers. And some water and assorted juices to round out the buffet. So how was the buffet? I'd call it pretty typical for a hotel breakfast buffet. It included the basic staples you'd expect at breakfast, but nothing really over the top or fancy. As long as you keep your expectations in check, you'll be fine. At least since you paid for the cruise package, you aren't being charged $40 a person for this, and that is definitely a good thing. Now onto the parking, which if you book this package, you'll be parking your car in this underground lot, just around the corner from the main hotel entrance. It's located past a gated entrance in a rather tight space, and then down to the lot you see here. When we parked there, it looked to have a good number of cars, but we didn't have any trouble finding a space, and returned to find our car to be thankfully still in good condition. Lastly, we have the actual shuttle service to get you to the cruise port, and this was sort of a mixed bag. As you can see from this picture, it was extremely crowded and the hotel staff really struggled to keep up. The loading area in front of the hotel is pretty tight, and things got pretty chaotic trying to get everyone on the bus. Pretty much every seat on this bus was taken. So was the experience comfortable? No, not really, uh, but they ultimately got us to our destination, so I can't really complain about that. My advice would be to get down to the shuttle early in the morning and allow for plenty of time for the whole boarding process if you want to be on your ship on time and do remember where they drop you off because you'll have to go back there to get picked up from the port again and it really isn't very well marked. So is the cruise package worth it? I think that could depend on how much you pay for it. All in, with hotel BS fees and taxes, we sat at around $250 for two people, which we thought was a pretty good value considering the inclusions of the room, parking for the duration of the five-night cruise, breakfast for two, and the shuttle service transportation, and we would likely consider it again. Its main attraction is really the location, of course. There really isn't much in San Pedro or in the hotel itself, frankly. But if you're looking for a comfortable place to sleep for the night prior to the cruise, and like the amenities of the cruise package we covered here, and can book it for a not too over the top price, I would go for it. So that brings us to the end of our review. Hope this was helpful and let us know if you have any questions in the comments section. Thanks for watching.